Ahoy! Let's draw together the Born-Haber cycle for magnesium chloride. Now, I like to start with my pure elements in standard state right about here. My pure elements in this case are magnesium, which is a solid at room temperature, and chlorine, which is a liquid, no, gas, at room temperature. So, pure elements, standard state. One, the metal is going to usually be solid. One will be gaseous or liquid, maybe solid if it's iodine. And you're going to have to adjust the coefficients here to match how many atoms you need. Now I need one mg, check, and both CLs from Cl2, so one and one is perfectly okay for me. Now, the Born-Haber cycle eventually is going to get us up to a place where you have your magnesium ion in the gas phase, both electrons separated from it, and two chlorine atoms in the gas phase. That's going to be the very peak of what I'm doing here. Let me see if I can adjust. Oh, that's much clearer for you probably. In any case, in order to get from here to there, I need to first convert my magnesium solid into magnesium gas. The chlorine will be untouched in that process. Then I'm going to need to split the chlorine atoms up because I don't want a Cl2 molecule, I want two Cl's separately. My magnesium will be untouched in that process and I'll end up with two Cl gases. Then I need to remove electrons from the magnesium. I will do that one at a time to show you, but you can probably get away with doing them both at the same time. I still have my two CLs. They are untouched in the process of removing the electrons from magnesium. And then I'm going to remove another electron from magnesium to make it the two plus ion. Cool, cool. So solid became a gas and then that, uh, that gas became its ion and we had to split apart the molecular compound into its atoms. Now, in order to make the ions for chlorine, energy is actually released in that process, so you have to show a down arrow there. This is Mg2 plus gas still, that's untouched, and I'm going to combine both Cl's with both electrons to start with to give me two chloride ions. Now, the combination of two gas phase ions to make solid magnesium chloride is the lattice enthalpy. I see lattice enthalpy most commonly given as an endothermic process, so I'm going to draw an up arrow between my solid magnesium chloride and the gas phase ions. This might be a good time for me to label this as delta H lattice because lattice enthalpy is the energy required to break a solid ionic compound into its gas phase ions. Now it's important to label all of the other arrows so that whoever's looking at your Born-Haber cycle knows that you know what you're talking about. Converting the elements in their pure form at standard state into an ionic compound, or into any compound really, is actually called the enthalpy of formation. That's delta HF. Delta HF will always be found here. For an ionic compound, delta HF is always negative, and so I have a down arrow representing that change. Converting magnesium solid to magnesium gas is delta H of vaporization for magnesium. Now this pen just died, so whatever, I'll go back to blue. That's delta H VAP. I'll redraw that for you, I'm not lazy. It's delta H VAP. Now to convert Cl2 into two Cl's, we need the bond dissociation enthalpy. That's the amount of energy required to break a Cl2 
or a bond between Cl2. Now I actually need both the Cl's from this, so I need to break up a full mole of Cl2 molecules. You, depending on the compound you're given, might have to adjust this to one half of the bond association enthalpy, etc. Now, to convert Mg gas to Mg plus, we need the first ionization energy of magnesium. And to remove the second electron, we need the second ionization energy for magnesium. Ionization energy being the energy required to remove an electron from one mole of magnesiums. The only other unlabeled thing we have here is converting the Cl atoms to Cl minus atoms. This is energy released when you add a mole of electrons. That is the electron affinity for Cl. Now, because you're adding one electron to each of two CLs, you actually are going to have to double that number if you're doing the math here. But this is the Born-Haber cycle. It shows you converting solid magnesium and gaseous chlorine into magnesium chloride by both a direct formation and also vaporizations, ionizations, electron affinities, and lattice enthalpies. You can use any of these numbers to calculate any of the other numbers. The way that I personally do it is to take them all as absolute values, make them all positive, and remember that two electron affinities plus a lattice enthalpy equals a formation plus a vaporization plus a bond association plus these two ionization energies. I'm sure your teacher may have given you a formula for that though, so don't listen to me. Listen to them. Do it my way though and then do it their way, uh, you know, figure it out for yourself. Best of luck. <laughs>